What's up everybody? Welcome, we're at the Good Wolf Inns today. We are a little bit late for this rotation, so we're gonna go in. They've already started, probably stay for this rotation and another one, unless this one's really good and we get really lucky. But at any rate, we'll be digging through trash today. Stick around. Sure enough, we walked in with seven minutes to spare here in the back room, so gotta look around real quick. And then we're gonna be waiting for the next rotation. I'm just checking the furniture real quick. Looking for some very specific shelves, and then we're gonna dig through some trash. All right, today's mission is to find jeans for my custom jeans. I need so many right now, and I mostly need black jeans. So we're gonna be focusing on that, just narrowing in on it. But I'm hoping to find some good vintage too. Extra there. Got to be some games in here. Just got to be Care Bear movie. Good start, I guess. John Wayne VHS. Maybe an empty weed case, but probably not. Barbie. Sims. Sims. Ooh, fashion party. All right, I've done a quick lap and uh, scored a few pieces for color blocking. So I've got some black going on, which is what I needed today. I went ahead and grabbed these little Lee jeans. I'm just gonna put them in my antique mall booth. And then some light wash. Some uh, medium tees. These I'm a little on the fence about because like they're huge. They're not a good size for my shop, but I can rework them and make them into a smaller size. They've got some beautiful paint work going on. And that's just natural. That's just, that's what you get whenever you work on houses and paint stuff. So I'm having a hard time letting them go. We'll see though. All right, we got a hell of a bin. This actually looks like stuff that was set aside for eBay and uh, they didn't sell, so it's all mine. Crazy, oh my God, no, no. Oh my gosh, what the heck, what is happening? All right, I, gotta, I really gotta dig in here before someone else comes. No, is that Polly Pocket? So I am looking through someone's throwbacks. Found these little Lee jeans. It's got the little stitching on top that I like, and they're pretty small. So it's a good find. On to our second rotation. There is a million people in here. Very hard to move around, and uh, finding a good bin has been tricky. But I did manage to find these black vintage Levi's. So. Off to a good start. All right, I found a Beyblade launcher and some toys, so we're getting to the good stuff. Just gotta get to it. Oh, baby. Toys, toys. Oh, baby. Let's go. Green Acres, that's cool. What? No. There's Digimon cards, Bakugan. Holy crap. Holy crap, this is getting crazier and then there's more. No. Gosh dang it, this is crazy. It just gets keep getting nuts. It's been a while since I've titled a video Best Goodwill Ben's Hall ever. But I think I'm gonna meet it today. Look, oh baby, oh baby, that's crazy. Vintage Zilla, what? What else is gonna be in here? Pony, crazy stuff. Pez. I need to find more overalls so I can do this to them. That's so cool. But it's teeny tiny. We don't need that. 
it looks like I'm gonna be working for the money today because these bins are full of media, which means there's probably games inside. I found these interesting pants. They are vintage. They're just this really fun, colorful plaid trouser. I don't pick up trousers often, but when I do, like it's because they're kind of special and like just really fun. And these are super light, so I figured it was worth a shot. I think they're specifically women's, but I'll have to look at the measurements and see how they lay out. They might be still men's, but the pockets suggest that maybe they are women's. Men's pockets don't typically have that little like slit style in the front on the furniture. So I just want to take a peek and see if there's anything we need. I don't know if they're still doing the liquidation thing. But if you didn't see, we got a cat perch for $6, and it's the biggest cat perch I've ever seen. And our cats love it. They're super happy with it. Super clean, well taken care of, and uh, didn't look like it had really ever been used. But uh, this trunk is nice. It's a bit broken. I probably won't get it, but it's pretty. Little big boy piggy bank. 2010. He's actually worth about 20 bucks. I sold him before. Yeah. A few Star Trek books in here I'm gonna snatch up. Zane Gray, that's good. This thing is so pretty. It's so stained though. Like, this is super old pajamas. I think it's super cute. There's a a slim chance I'm getting all that out. What a bummer. Oh well. Really interesting corduroy pants. They're by Anchor Blue. Corduroys are hit or miss though, so I'm a little on the fence. But I do kind of like the, the color of them. This kind of like neutral grunge thing going on is a little popular. They're a little stained though, so I might not get them. I'm really on the fence. I probably won't get them. They're stained. Have better standards, Hannah. Have better standards. Hannah, you remember little homies? No, oh my gosh. I got some little homies. Probably the thing I'm most excited about. Remember me telling you about Vanguard trading card game? Yeah. Looks like a starter deck or something. And then, I don't know, it, just gets, it gets even crazier though. How about that? For the Furby shelf. I think this is a Polly Pocket home, right? Maybe, yeah, it looks like it. I don't know, it's broken anyways. It's missing a lot of pieces, but Winnie the Pooh, it's a gun. I don't see a date, but it's old, super old. So we'll probably put that in the antique mall. PC Gamer magazine. I only grabbed the magazine to check for posters and there's a poster for Falcon 40, which is kind of cool. I grabbed a few things we need to just look up. There's a giant Bob Dylan book. You can buy it now for eight bucks on eBay. I think this is the original Tickle Me Elmo. The one and only inbox spawn toy I've ever found. Fraggle Rock, let's go. You remember Fraggle Rock? A lot of stuff I found today I'm just excited because I want it. But this is something that I wouldn't be surprised is worth a little money. Remember Garbage Pail Kids? Uh, we'll see what it's sold for. This is listed pretty high. About to see what it actually is sold for. Also, I didn't even get this on camera. I found a watch. G-Shot. I, I think that's one of those supposed to be really durable watches. Yeah, it's about 20 to 40. $20 pop, let's go. Here, I know you don't have your skates yet, but those are gate, skate stoppers. Aww. Inbox WWF, 100 year old Ronald McDonald. Oh yeah, Hannah, you're gonna wanna check this out. I know it's probably just all Barbie clothes, but I figured you should take a look at it. Two of the things I got that I haven't even been able to show you. These are all stickers, sticker book, which is awesome. And then this is the CRT DVD combo. Should be able to get out of here with this for five bucks. That's a good find. If you guys stick around, we'll go home and take a closer look at all this stuff. But so aside from all the stuff that we got at the bins, I also have an extra little surprise that someone handed me outside. You want a quick peek? Boom. Take a closer look at that when we get home too. Right now we gotta pack the car though. 
Chicago Bulls VHS. Go ahead. Crazy stuff. Listen, there's probably been five, six, seven videos on this channel that I've named something to the effect of best Ben's haul ever. And at some point, someone usually comments, oh, you, you got a lot of best finds. A period of time is going to pass, okay? The last best find is going to have faded into our memories, into the lore that is the Tendo channel. And then a new find is going to arise. And that rise, that find is going to be so magnificent that the rest of the finds don't matter. Today's <laughs> find is thus. Okay, I found a couple thousand dollars of big box PC games at the bins one time. Who cares? <laughs> I've got a two foot Kirby here. I've got all this crazy nonsense. This, this is was, nuts. This is definitely top five, you know? like Oh, for sure. I need to go back through all of our page and find those Ben's videos that I have titled "Best Ben's Finds Ever" and just put them on a playlist of best Ben's finds because they are there's there's five or six now that are really why we do it, and this is one of those. Um, this is good. There's just so much good stuff. So let's just go right into it. Now you bought a cart full of jeans. I did. This is the first time we've ever left with two cartfuls. Yeah, that's I true. It may, maybe it's not the first first, but it, it, not like that does it happen that often. Yeah, I, was like, I don't think we've ever actually physically had two carts to check out with. Yeah, <laughs> we, we literally rolled two carts out to the car. Now, most of the stuff you bought, though, is for your custom work. Yes. So you're not going to show it off. But no. I've already carried a giant bag of jeans into the other room, but it's just standard black denim. Now, let's do talk about the good stuff you got real quick so that we can dive into all this. None of it is, like, absolutely 100% amazing, but it's all things that, like, this will sell. Um, a pair of vintage Lee jeans. They're a pretty small size. Nice color fade on them, so they were a good pickup. Then we have a little pair of uh, cut-off Lee jeans. These, probably not going to try to sell them online. I'm probably just going to throw them in my booth because it is getting to be 150 degrees in Phoenix. And shorts are a must, so... And We're going to stack that baby with shorts. We've been trying so hard to build two stocks of clothing. One for our antique mall, one for our online sale. And the more of that we can get, the better. Because yeah. we, we're trying to actually keep the stock separate so we can quit going crazy. Uh, but that's been difficult. But that's good to find for that. Yeah, the bins is going to be the way to do that. And that's what I've really been keeping an eye on for. Just, just things I can just throw in there and not even worry about. Um, pair of vintage plaid trousers these are funky i didn't see Thought they were cool i didn't see those that's pretty cool and then these were different um they're by the brand route 66 which i think we've talked about before is like vintage kmart or something like that um yeah it's always hard to remember because so many of those 90s big box store brands sound the same yeah <laughs> But they're really cool. They've got like a very Y2K feel to them and they're still a little high rise. So I feel like somebody's going to somebody's gonna enjoy these more than like the low rise Y2K fashion. That's so awesome. That's everything that I got clothes wise. I did manage to get. I forgot about it. <laughs> this little guy. <laughs> Let me show him off right here. This is uh, we found this one time ages ago at the bins. And put it on eBay and sold it. Not only sold it immediately, but the person that bought it from us was just like, I've been wanting this for so long. Oh They're my stoked. gosh, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, is that all the stuff you got? That's everything I got, yeah. That was that's awesome. He's I almost cute. I wish I collected stuff like that, I'd keep it. Okay, well, my new favorite thing, giant Kirby. Uh, he's a little dirty, but we'll be able to bring him back to life. Um I sold the Kirby about half the size that I thought was huge. Yeah. Ages ago. Actually, I think I sold it to one of you guys. For a while, we would sell some of our finds on our own website. We've done that on and off. It was more of a COVID thing. It came out of COVID. Uh, but I'd always just kind of wished I'd had it because I thought it would be such a good idea to make outfits for a giant Kirby. Aww. So, like, if we're shoot shooting Minecraft videos, put a pickaxe in his hand and a, and a, and a Minecraft helmet. So and then, cute. Yeah, and then, like, if we're shooting whatever else videos, just decorate him for the backdrop of whatever we're doing. So I think I'll be keeping him. Plus a good buddy of mine is who just gave it to me. He he found it and was like, Dallas wants that. So <laughs> he uh, he grabbed it for me. He knows you well. Well yeah, he grabbed it for me last week at the bins, paid a few bucks for it, and gave it to me today. So 
that's honestly one of the best things I came home with. I didn't even find it. Okay, let's just, I'm just going to kind of run through all this stuff in no particular order just to get it off the table. Um, if you guys see anything special in all this that you know something extra about, feel free to comment it below. Um, I looked up a few things in that bin that we were digging through that all this came out of that I didn't know about, but anything that I knew was in the realm of what we sell at our antique malls, I grabbed, uh, plus a couple extra things. So I'm not going to be too clear on the value of some of it as we go. I mean, we did look up the pop, $20, $30 pop. We were going to buy it regardless, but it looked pretty special. So you pop collectors, let us know what we got here. Fraggle Rock, 35-year kind of anniversary, Boober and Dozer. Uh, that's awesome. We haven't found a good pop in a little while. We were on a streak for a while finding $80 yeah, pops. it was wild. <laughs> um, but that was a good find. And uh, just, just, I need to explain this too before we get too far into this. That bin that we found was called an e-commerce bin. That's like the internal name for it, for the people working at the bins. eBay has their e-commerce website that's a lot like eBay where they sell stuff. We've talked about it a ton on this channel. I think two weeks ago on our live show, we had a really long discussion about it with you guys. Go back and watch that video. Uh, and we, we, we shared our thoughts on it and a lot of other people chimed in and talked about it too. Um, but sometimes, and this has happened a few times at our Goodwill bins, they have put out a whole bin of that stuff. Now we have never been able to get clarification on whether or not it was stuff they failed to sell or just decided was not in good enough condition or any other parameter that you could think of. They, they collected it for e-commerce sales and then didn't sell it. Um, the only other times we've been able to get into one of those bins, we've gotten sloppy seconds. Yeah. And... Just leftover stuff. I got a couple of Tamagotchi out of one once. A few keychains for the keychain collection. But I've never gotten to one first. Now, that being said, I had, was having a heart attack digging through that bin for a very specific reason. Do you know why? Why? Because our bins very recently changed the rules back from one person per bin to two people per bin. Now, pre-COVID at the Goodwill bins, it could be 25 people fighting over the same bin. It yeah. was It was anarchy. <laughs> Post-COVID, it was one person per bin, and there were pluses and minuses, pros and cons for, for one person. One, you got that bin to yourself. Yeah. That's a good pro. You didn't, No one else gets anything out of it. You get to look at it top to bottom. A huge con is like we can't help each other flip a bin and have an easier time. There's a lot more to it than that. But with this bin today, everyone was coming by and just starting to dig through it a little bit. So I had to, at the very, you have three minutes to your bin yourself before second people can join. So that first three minutes, I was like, ah, and I was, and right on the top, you'll see it here in a second, there was a Beyblade launcher. And I thought that was a red herring because there was no Beyblade stuff in there. <laughs> or if it was, someone else snatched it and I didn't see. But there was a lot of trading card game stuff. There's a lot of stuff I'm going to show you you didn't even see on camera, but that's because given what I just explained, me having to fight other people for some of this stuff, essentially, I didn't get that uh, whole experience on camera as well as I normally would have. So the footage is a little light, but you're just gonna have to bear with me because this was <laughs> this was a new experience. This was a step back in the direction of the old school bins. Uh, but I'm glad because I honestly I, I there I didn't see anybody get anything out of it that I wanted. As a matter of fact, another gentleman who I know and talked to pretty regularly came over there. So there he said, "Hey, I'm going to stand here so no one else comes and digs and takes your stuff." So kind. And he just chatted with me while I finished the bin. There are cool people at the bins, so try to get to know the cool ones. All right, that's enough explaining about the whole thing. Look at some of this stuff. I've never found a, a vintage inbox. WWF figure. It's not in great shape. And some of this stuff is kind of like that, which leads me to believe they set this aside and then deemed it too rough to try to sell on their e-commerce. So, Psycho Sid. There you go. Any wrestling fans, tell me what I got. Um, let me get some of this other little stuff out of the way. Just some Star Trek books. I sell those at our antique mall a ton. Uh, fashion Party, which is actually funny because I don't have it in my Wii collection. Uh, so that'd be good to add. Zoo Tycoon. I just grabbed a handful of this stuff just because. Splinter Cell, Double Agent, Sims 3, which we already have, but we'll put another copy in our antique mall. Uh, Chicago Bulls VHS. Those sell in our antique mall a lot. So does this nonsense Marvel DVD stuff. 
uh, an empty Super Smash Wii U case, but I have extra copies of it, so that's good. Sims, uh, Life Stories, that's actually Ooh. some Sims stuff we don't have. We don't have that at all. We always think we have everything Sims related uh, with PC games, but there's this weird stuff that we never come across sometimes that surprises us. Care Bears, Movie 2, A New Generation. All stuff for our antique balls. I misspoke earlier in the video. That's the one thing that's going to go to a different booth than the rest of this stuff. Uh, but almost all the rest is toy stuff's going to one booth. Uh, so let's see. This is for me. I am an avid sticker collector and user. And I looked into exactly what this sticker book it is. Uh, it, it is this guy basically back in the day was like a collector of these weird sayings, colloquialisms, and turns of phrases. Turns of phrase? Grammatically correct. Um, and so this book, some of it's meant to be almost parody on some of it, and some of it's serious, but there's a lot, you know? There's Linux's power, limit your consumption. I guess the Linux is talking about Linux operating system, you know, just stuff. And it goes on and on. Um, I'm going to be sticking stickers with that thing all over things for years to come. Very happy to have it. Oh, I don't even know where to go. There's just too much to look at. Zelda shirt, which is pretty cool. Beautiful. You know, it's, we might have, we've got some friends that are this small. We might have to see if they want that because that's a really nice Zelda shirt. It's very pretty. Why don't you set that aside and send them a text message? We've, we've got some friends we already have some other shirts for. They might want that. Um, Gazira! Gojira! I'm very happy about this. Uh, I don't collect Godzilla stuff. And I don't know how old exactly this is. If it's a remake, how vintage, but it's awesome. Whatever the heck this is, is awesome. That might be the coolest Godzilla figure I've ever found. It's really nice. The only thing wrong with it is a couple of his fingers are a bit chewed on. But somebody, that'll, that'll go to a happy home, I'm sure. I found little Godzilla toys, newer stuff, like when some of the movies have come out. But nothing vintage -y like that. I have no idea what this is. I haven't looked it up yet, but it's interesting. Drop mix, plastic pack. It doesn't say much about what it is. Includes 15 cards. Look inside. For, I don't. I just don't know what this is. Download the Drop Mix app. Okay, so this is an app that these cards somehow interact with. But they were trading card-like stuff, so I grabbed them. Let me go ahead and talk about this TV so I can get it off the table. This is a Toshiba TV with a built-in DVD player, and I thought because it looks so much like this one, it was the same one I already have. But the one up there on my shelf is a Memorex, and my DVD and my uh, VHS TV combo up there, they're both meant for being on camera. So I'm actually gonna put this up there beside that one and see which one registers better on camera. Keep the better one and put the other one in our antique mall. Easy $100 plus in our antique mall. Yeah. Every day of the week. Uh, I wish I could find one of those every time we went there because they sell so well for us. Okay. I just don't even know what to do with some of this. Let's start with this bag of cards. If you guys want to know what's in the card stuff, I will have a video real soon up on my on our second channel, Rubber Duck Yellow. Go subscribe to that if you haven't already. I haven't been putting a lot of stuff on there lately because it's hard to get my hands on the trading card stuff that's meant to be on that channel, but... This and the next bit of trading card stuff I'm going to show you was such an awesome find with so much cool stuff. We're not going to dig through this here now because this video will be five hours long. But this has a lot of weird, random, collectible stuff in it. Uh, and some of you might want to take a closer look. So that'll be how you do so. Uh, this was really funny. Garbage Pail Kids. But like giant cards. It's so much fun. I have some of the smaller cards, but I've never had any of these huge ones. There's about 20 of them there. Twisted Tales of Tokyo. Um, there's a lot going on there, so shield your kids' <laughs> eyes. Sailor Moon, the oh movie, wow. right? Very happy about that one. Um, the Tickle Me Elmo. So crazy. That's crazy. Invitation of the Tickle Me Elmo laugh. <laughs> Very good. Well, I got this for you. Yay! Uh, the rest of this is just Pez and that lone Beyblade launcher. So, that's not all. There is one more bag. If I can get it up here without it busting. Super vintage-y Winnie the Pooh. You said it was a gun too, right? Yeah, it's an old gun Winnie the Pooh. Wow. I haven't quite figured out the age range that it is. But we will be looking it up. Uh, 
I couldn't leave you behind. We've sold a lot of Winnie the Pooh stuff at one of our antique malls, and I'm sure that'll go too. I didn't check this for completeness or anything. It doesn't matter. Dungeons and Dragons fantasy role-playing game starter kit by Wizards of the Coast. And it's got... Oh, yes. It looks untouched, to be honest with you. I, uh... Do you have your phone on you? Yes. Were you able to look this up at the bins? I did. It, it was one of those Enigma things. It like, was definitely something that someone at one point was the only one that had one listed, so they sold it for $95. Okay. And then some people sold it for about 40 some people sold it for 10 some people sold it for 99 cents plus shipping. Like, uh, it was all over the place. Right. Um, there were a couple listed, but they're all in the, like, 20 to 30 range. Okay. Well, you know what that means to me? If it could be had for, for $20 on eBay right now, if that were how it ends up being, um, that means we could throw it in our antique mall with little to no problem for that, yeah. if not a little bit more. Um, so we'll, we'll look it up further later, but... Uh, I like it. It was 20 retail. It might just be something we have to keep. So if we ever want to get into our own little bit of D&D, &D, we can. I've been conceptualizing this idea of getting a group of people together and playing some sort of role-playing Dungeons & Dragons type game on Minecraft. Could just, be funny. Just a thought. Could be fun. Have you ever played Dungeons & Dragons? No. I haven't either. No, I, I've never... Um, I had friends in high school acquaintances in high school, I guess you'd say, that, that played, but I, I was never able to get into them. But let me, I'm here to tell you I'm here for it. I'm definitely into that kind of thing. I just never got the chance. Uh, the Adventures of Spawn, Collector's Club exclusive. That's so awesome. I don't ever find inbox Spawn stuff. So very happy to find that. It's pretty cool. That's something else I'm excited to look up. Again, not in great condition. Crushed, unclear plastic. So I, I'm kind of seeing a pattern there. But look at this ridiculous... Old Ronald McDonald. You said you your we family had, had one of these. Yeah, we had one of them whenever I was a kid. Um, we had... I was the youngest of four kids. Okay. So we had accumulated an entire, like, one of those big boxes we get at, we bought at Goodwill. Like, a giant box of plush. <laughs> That's awesome. Your mom just didn't get rid of any of it? Yeah, we just kind of kept it. And she's like, well, the next kid will use it. The next kid will use it. And so by the time I came around, I was like, I could dive into the box. But this was one of them. That's awesome. It's really crazy. I don't know where it came from. Obviously, cause it was there long before I was. Right. But uh, I always thought clowns were kind of creepy. So I never played with it. So you weren't into it? <laughs> well, again, antique mall, that kind of stuff goes really well. Now, this next thing... I'm going to go ahead and say it's probably fine of the day. Take this monster. I will take the fur baby. You guys know where that's going, right? So he squeaks. I did not know he squeaks. <laughs> it's a shake. It's a. <laughs> he will be going with the Furby collection. I'm not trying to collect gizmos, but it definitely needs some representation on the Furby shelf, at least until we get the actual Gremlin Furby that exists. Yeah. Why are you so mad, big cat? He definitely wants down, but we're not going to let him down until he stops meowing. Anime from Akira to Hal's Moving Castle. It's some sort of... It's experiencing contemporary Japanese animation. It's just some sort of like primer on anime, which is really interesting. So I'm actually going to give that the time of day and see what it's about. I don't think I even mean, meant to grab that. There's a few things in this bag like that, but a tiny little twister game. Not sure how or what or why. You do it with your hands. It's literally twister with your fingers. That's, that's hard. That's hilarious. Okay. Now, again, uh, two things here. Hannah has been dying for a pair of roller skates, but we haven't yes. found a perfect pair for her yet. So I'm going to actually hold on to these until they come around. It's a brand new pair of stoppers. Cute. Isn't that awesome? That would be really nice to have around when you get a pair. Yeah. A lot of times, especially like older ones might have dry rotted a little bit this next bag of nonsense is like this is gold to me this is catnip you understand this right catnip <laughs> why are you like quit him. being so awkward smelly fingers he just wants outside he does he's so mad we're not letting him um this is a bag of catnip for me i collect trading card game stuff our second channel is based around it and i, I have a closet full of it that i just kind of it's like my soothing hobby to organize trading card game stuff into 
binders and stuff and so there's a lot of stuff in here I collect and there's a lot more in here that I don't collect but I try to keep a little bit of everything um, but let me just uh, again second channel go subscribe to it if you want to see more of what's in here but uh, the stuff that I just can go ahead and show you because some of you might actually be excited is there's probably 20 or 30 Digimon in here um, there's a bunch of stuff from multiple generations of Digimon trading card games Zatch Bell, Huntick is something I've never even heard of. I saw Harry Potter cards in here. It's just awesome. I mean, there's just, there's kind of no end to how many different trading card games are in here. And I imagine that this stuff was not exactly donated like this. I bet this is a pile of stuff they kept in their uh, e-commerce thing and they were going to try to bundle it and sell it. Yeah. And it didn't work out for them, which is just perfect for me. I mean, the luck of me getting that bin and getting this bag of trading card stuff is just, it's otherworldly. And I can't wait to figure out what else is in there. Because, like, here's a stack of, of Siege Storm. I don't know what that is. That's not a game I've come across. But I'm excited to learn about it. Because my obsession with trading card games is game mechanics. Um, I study just, I don't know why, my brain works this way. I love card game mechanics. And so I'll look this game up and I'll read the rule book. And there's very often, in card games that are obscure like this, a card game mechanic that just kind of sets my little brain on fire and makes me, you know, very interested in it. So I look forward to looking that up. Now, that's almost everything. There's two more things, really. This is another thing the same friend that gave me Kirby handed me. This is a uh, monitor splitter. So my shelf, uh, that for my Minecraft shelf that has a TV, backlit TV on it, um, I want it to be three TVs and each one have uh, kind of different things going on sometimes, but sometimes having the same image run across all three shelves. Uh -huh. But I want to be able to make the shelves modular so they curve, so I can't like do it with one big screen. So these devices will allow me to put a bunch of stuff on different screens via one output. Oh. So very useful to me. My buddy hooked me up with that. And then the last thing is this box. It's more trading cards and a couple other things. Uh, just some, you know, Magic the Gathering books, Beanie Baby cards, Bakugan cards, more of those Digimon cards, little homies, little which homies. is awesome. I guess we can take a look at a couple of these, because I know people are going to remember these. Comment below your memories of little homies. I remember having this guy. Uh, who else do I remember? I do not remember the dude chained up, but that's pretty funny. Um, I definitely remember this guy. That's funny. I used to get these out of quarter machines. And then uh, this box right here, though, is probably my find of the day. Um, and that's a whole deck of what a trading card game called Vanguard. And there's also some Pokemon cards in here, too. But this Vanguard trading card game, you can go to game stores right now and buy some of these cards sometimes. But just normal shopping in the wild and stuff, it's not something you're going to find a lot of. And uh, as far as card game mechanics go, it's actually one of my favorites. I love this game. There's an anime that coincides with it. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> it's his box now. <laughs> Would you like me to remove the smaller box? What do you think? Much better. I bet you can get in there if I just take it all out. Don't go away. He doesn't like it when you take it all out. He wants to lay on it. Go ahead. Get, get in there. Put on a show. No, not interested. <laughs> Camera okay. shy. He doesn't like it when I do pay attention to him. He wants my attention until he has it. But Vanguard... Um, I hope there's a. I hope this is like a structure deck. I hope I can go find a checklist and find out it's all the cards to structure deck because I've actually wanted to properly play this game all the way back to college because I found the anime for it when we met. Yeah. So or a little after it's been around for a while. So that was fine of the day for me, and I'm very excited to make some content for it on our other channel. Woo! So that felt like a marathon. <laughs> You've now been talking we, for a minute. Now that we've talked about all of it, let's pick what our favorite things we got today was. Oh my goodness, that's tough. I mean, I'm. Really excited about all your stuff. Um, that took me almost super cool. I think that's my favorite the thing Elmo? you got. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think my favorite thing is going to be the Vanguard cards, mostly. Um, as far as something for me to keep. Maybe for the rest of the stuff that's going to our antique malls, my favorite thing would be... I don't know, maybe those VH VHS. There were a couple cool ones. Oh, uh, gosh, I can't. Probably Godzilla. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Godzilla was super cool. Gojira. I'm pretty stoked about that. You guys comment below before we go. 
He's runner-up. I mean, I don't know. That's just as good, really. You guys comment below and let us know what your favorite thing that we found today at Goodwill was. We really, we really do like knowing what you guys like or don't like because we got some, we got some wild stuff. We did. All right, do me a couple favors before we get out of here. Pretty please hit that subscribe button. Help us continue on to fifteen thousand. We can't do it without you. And you can actually go ahead and do that by clicking this button in this corner here. Click this video on Hannah's face to watch the most hilarious gaming video we have ever made in our lives. It's so dumb. The video before that, below that, is a video you can click to watch us play some Super Smash. So check that out. Until next time, guys. Peace out.